Hey guys, welcome back. I custom machined these plates that replace the bypass covers on your vintage Johnson Evernrude motors. So why would you even need to buy any of these plates? Well, what if you had a, a motor, but you didn't have the, the original pressure tank to go with it and or you couldn't find one for sale on eBay or Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace? You can still use the motor if you replace one of the OEM bypass cover plates with, with one of these custom machine plates and, and attach a fuel pump to it. You can go buy a plastic fuel tank that you can find from Academy Sports or Walmart and with this plate, a fuel pump, and a single line hose, you're good to go and you're back on the water. In this video, I'm going to go through each one of these plates and, and which motor they correspond to. This is the QD series 10 horsepower motors. These are the 15 um, horsepower and the FD series 18 horsepower motors, the AD seven and a half horsepower motors, and then you have the 1955 25 horsepower and the 1956 30 horsepower um, plates here. Also, if you want to see uh, these plates on motors that are running, um, those videos, the links to the YouTube videos will be in my video description as well. Make sure to go check those out. These plates do work and, and they can revive your old outboard. Who am I kidding? I got to show you a video right now. These plates can be found for purchase on my eBay store. Please go and check that out. The link is also in the video description. This one right here is the Johnson Evinrude QD series, um, QD 10 horsepower that went from about 1952 to 1963. This plate is, or this, uh, yeah, this bypass cover is the OEM bypass cover that started in, in about 1960, I believe and finished off in 1963. So these are becoming really hard to find. Um, these are bypass cover plates, um, uh, allow a, a fuel pump to be mounted to it. So what I've done is I've mimicked the whole pattern and I've made it a square plate. I mean, it's, it is not as pretty as the OEM one, but it does the function and, and it has the same whole pattern and allows the uh, uh, also a fuel pump to be mounted to it. It is, it is at least or a little bit less than the thickness, the OEM thickness. So you're not going to have any interference uh, issues whenever you put your cowling on. But um, these these plates, uh, I've sold a lot of them. I've used them myself. I've had no issues with them. Um, they basically just allow you to screw a fuel pump in them and provide this pressure point, pressure port um, for a a um, off-the-shelf fuel pump that you can get off Amazon. These fuel pumps, um, they come with a gasket that's not shown here, but this this is the pressure point. There's a diaphragm in there. Um, this pressure uh, from the cavity, from the bypass cover, transfers to the fuel pump, pushes the diaphragm, and then sucks and pushes uh, gas to your carburetor. So that's basically how it works. Um, I've also made... Um, also have seven horsepower plates um, for the seven and a half horsepower. I mean, um, uh, Johnson and Evinrude's. These are the AD series motors back in the fifties. Um, they don't have an OEM plate uh, like this that allows a fuel pump adapter. Um, so basically, this this is all there is. These are also available on my eBay store. Everything that you see in this video, check the video description below. And, and you'll see links to where you can get these on eBay. For the seven and a half horsepower, it takes a fuel pump uh, like this one as well that you can easily find on, on Amazon or eBay. Next up are the uh, 18 or the 15 horsepower or the 18 horsepower uh, models, the 15 horsepower back in the 1950s and the 18 horsepower that went into this to the 60s, the FD series 18 horsepower motors. This, they did uh, convert those motors, the 18 at least, to, to use a fuel pump, and this is the OEM plate. They are hard to find as well and or expensive. Um, the 15 horsepower and the 18 horsepower use the same bypass cover 
uh, hole pattern here. The only difference is the 15 horsepower use number eight screws and are a little bit smaller. So when you buy a 15 horsepower plate off my store, you'll see that I also provide um, four washers and a, a rubber grommet here. And what that does is you can um, put the washer on first, your screw, then put the, the rubber grommet. These are fuel rated rubber grommets. And then you can slide this into the hole here and you can see it makes a good seal because I didn't want to make different plates that have the the smaller hole diameter. There's no shear load on these screws really so this this should be uh, 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 perfectly acceptable. So that's why you see the 15 horsepower come with the washers and the grommets. Last but not least is the 1955, 1956, 25 and 30 horsepower um, motors. Um, I, this is the OEM bypass cover. They do not make a bypass cover that uh, accommodates a fuel pump. So you can just buy my uh, machined uh, bypass cover replacement and mount a fuel pump um, to this. With all these bypass covers, you're gonna to need to get the uh, OEM gasket as well. I don't sell those, but you can find them on eBay or marineengine.com. I'm showing you one here for the 25 and 30 horsepower here. Um, you need to get it, you know, if you have a seven and a half, you need to get that gasket for a 15 or 18 and a 10 horsepower. Um, you need to get those gaskets. Um, basically what uh, comes in the kit that I send is a plate one of these plates and then two screws. I, I don't send the fuel pump, but I send these two screws um, to mount the fuel pump. So I do provide these two screws. When you buy a fuel pump, um, what this gasket does come with whatever fuel pump you buy. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you bought one of these plates from me and you wanna leave a comment on how things went, or if you had any trouble, please let me know. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, leave a thumbs up for me. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button if this video helped you out. Thanks for watching.